So we're going to be making three easy meals today. One of them is going to be meat, one of them is going to be seafood, and the other one is going to be all veggies or vegan. And guess what? We're not going to be using any oil. You heard me. Neither any butter because we want to highlight the non-stick properties of this foil. So stay tuned. <laughs> Welcome back to the Easy Food Kitchen, guys. Today we have a very special episode for you because we're going to be focusing on minimal cooking. Yes. So no set of stirring, no slaving over a hot stove, no set of pots and pans. In fact, we aren't going to be using any cooking utensils at all. Why? Our good friends over at Diamond sent us over their newest product. Yes, Diamond makes non-stick foil and we're going to be creating some easy and simple recipes today right now if you're like me i grew up on the diamond brand my mom has been using it for years and we have followed suit it is durable it is also reusable <laughs> and it's just an easy thing to use in the kitchen right and for me foil is more than just that thing that you use to cover leftovers or to put something in you can create one packet meals that are no fuss <laughs> an easy cleanup so you know it's going to be a breeze and this is all possible because diamond makes it non-stick so if you're interested in seeing some cute little foil packet meals made easy then stay tuned so guys so it's going to be very quick and easy quick is the word we're going to be opening up our foil and as you can see it's easily identifiable the non-stick with the nice little yellow label this is how it comes we take off this little tape here that I might need some help taking off with a knife. <laughs> right, I'm back. Right, so this is how it looks. Already you could see there is, oh, I like the little um, branding. So on this side, the shiny side is not the non-stick side, right? So this is the side that is going to go like that. So as you could see, so this is how it looks and the non-stick surface is the part that is dull and you could clearly tell the difference between the dull and the shiny side right so i'm just going to put it back in here and take out the piece that i need and we're going to be doing the fish the fish is probably the size of my palm some nice meaty kingfish steaks so i'm thinking Thinking this should be good. Nice. All right, great. So very easy to put together, guys. Make sure your dull side is down. I'm gonna put some onions at the bottom. And remember, we are not using any oil or fat or butter, but it's still gonna taste amazing. Some fresh chives here. And I'm going to lay on the fish like that. It was already seasoned. Right, put some salt, some lemon pepper because lemon goes great with fish. Some okra. Few slices of corn. Garlic, of course. Little bits of hot pepper. I mean, and you can season this how you like, right? I'm gonna put some nice coconut milk. A little dash of ruku. And then some charabani. This is how we're gonna fold. this way bring it all together make sure it meets at the center and then you fold in and close it in on either side because we want it to steam so it's going to steam in there right and all the flavors are going to be locked in 
how easy that was. That took less than five minutes. So let's make the other one. Right guys, so we have our two packets here, one for me, one for the producer. <laughs> and we are going to set it and forget it in our oven for just about 20 or 25 minutes and our oven has been preheated to 400 degrees. So guys, we are going to be making some meat and potatoes. <laughs> we're making nice little um, patties and then in another packet, we're gonna be doing our potatoes. So I am just going to Get my egg cracked. And the egg and the breadcrumbs is gonna be a binding agent. You all know how to make burgers, right? You all know how to make burgers, right? So, let's season up our patties. Some salt, some black pepper, onion powder, garlic powder, mustard powder, some paprika. I don't know, breadcrumbs now. Put in our egg. And the best way to do this, guys, is just get your hand in there, right? But we don't want to overwork it too much. We just want to make sure it comes together. I want to make the patties like about this big. <laughs> so I think this here is a good enough average. Right, remember dull side always up. The dull side is the nonstick side. Gonna take out, form it into a nice patty. And rest it here. All right, guys. So we're gonna wrap this up tightly. See what kind of made the impression of the bulb on the outside across this way. And this is something fun that the kids could do. Mommy, you want to help you cook? <laughs> Let her make some foil packet meals. Come over on that side and then come over on this side. Hello. And there you go. Our meat patties are finished. I wash my hands and we're going to get our potatoes prepared for our meat and potatoes dish, which I like how it feels. It's really smooth, so the dull side feels very smooth to touch. So we have our potatoes here. And I know some of all you're saying, where the butter, where the oil? Guys, we're gonna be showing you how easy it is to create a meal that is non-stick because the food is supposed to slide right off, right? So you're gonna season this with salt. Little chink sajira and some thyme because we got a lot of time <laughs> right and we're going to seal this up you'll see how quick and easy that was right i mean you're working late you come home your family wants something quick and easy make them some foil packet meals they can even eat it straight out of the foil Seal this up. And we're ready with our meat and potatoes to go into the oven. All right, guys, so we have some mushrooms, we have beets. Beets are very good for you and roasted. It's also very, very nice. We have some red onions, we have some squash, and also we have some broccoli and copious amount of garlic so we're going to be putting everything all here remember the non-stick side is the dull side and this is a really fun way to get your veggies in because it's going to be flavorful it's going to taste good Our mushrooms as well some of the beets 
I really love beet salad. Let me just mix this up. Add our garlic, lots of garlic. We're gonna add all the garlic. Mm -hmm. Broccoli, which is gonna give us a little green. And we're gonna be doing these veggies two ways. We're gonna steam it at first, and then after we're gonna open it up so that it could get some nice little caramelization on top. Lots of salt, because we have lots of veggies here. Some lemon pepper. So these veggies are literally going to steam in its own juices. Let me just mix it up a little bit. It's looking pretty already. I'm gonna fold this way. Fold this on this side. And we're gonna seal. This foil is really, really nice to work with. Very easy, everything is staying in place. And we're ready for it to hit the oven. All right guys, so our fish is out. It smells amazing. So now we're gonna, ooh. <laughs> Look at that. Perfectly cut. Nothing is sticking, and I'll show you how this is just gonna slide right off. Slide right off. Wow. And literally, nothing is sticking. Nothing is sticking. Nothing, okay. Non-stick, check. <laughs> and we have a beautiful kingfish here. Nice and meaty, let's just give it a little taste. Some okra. Perfection. I see no me, I can, I can just take one bite, right? <laughs> so the fish is very moist, flaky. I like that everything. Mmm. 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 Everything is perfectly cooked. The corn as well. Mm -hmm. It steamed nicely. So this did a very good job. Nothing stuck to it as you could see. Oh, that's a nice cornbread, nice and sweet. Mm. And this meal was ready. Prep time was, let's say what, two minutes? Okay, if you wanna cut up the veggies and stuff before, let's say five minutes, and then cook time is 20. So that's in 25 minutes, you have a meal. Without the use of a pot, a pan, a spoon. Okay, Diamond, you come through. Ta-da! We have a foil feast made for a king, a queen, a prince, a princess, everybody else in the kingdom, right? We have some nice veggies here. I just love the color we got on the veggies. Nice beets, you have your yellows, your purples, your greens. Then we have this lovely steamed fish here made with coconut milk and okras and some corn. We have some roasted potatoes here and also some burger patties. We did not use any butter, we did not use any oil and everything is flavorful. Why? Because we were able to use a non-stick foil from Diamond. They really made these meals a cinch to create and to prepare. There was no fuss. I didn't have to slave over a stove. So this is perfect for those meals that you want to get ready on a rush and you don't want to think about, oh gosh, I have to take out pots and pans. None of that was involved. You just lay your meals out, make sure you put it on the dull side, fold it up and put it in the oven. And in minutes, you're going to have a meal that is going to be fit for your family. So check them out. They are available in supermarkets nationwide. Look for diamond aluminum foil. Make sure and look for the yellow label where it says non-stick.
special thanks to our friends over at Diamond for sponsoring this episode. I would encourage you guys to try out their aluminum non-stick foil available in supermarkets nationwide. Prepare these meals and let us know what you think about it. And for more info, you can check out AS Bryden's Instagram and Facebook page. See you on the next one. Boy, of course, look, you can see what you're playing, you know the thing, look, this could be used again, you know, it's good foil here. Look, it just sliding off, watch, look, eh, eh. Wait, but I'm going to use the sunlight. Let's fold up stuff. Put stuff in it. So you never reused the foil before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, oh gosh, come now, man, come now, man. You think I'm going to throw this foil home? <laughs> Mommy would say, don't show any foil. <laughs>